Hey, party people. Listen, the whole world is a stage. You can't believe anything that you see on television. Get that through your head. Nothing that you see on television can you believe. You know, Bruce... Bruce Jenner was not the first transvestite that or transgender that we witnessed on TV. In fact, almost all of the celebrities or entertainers that we watch, a whole slew of them are transgenders. They've been transgender since forever. Even in the they start even in the biblical days that we call them Enochs. The, they they were people who family gave them to the king. They castrated them at birth or when they were young and they had them grow up because it was a good job. People did it. They did it to, for their kids for the money. Like that person get to work for the king and that person dedicate their life to the king. Like they will eat the king, taste the king food to make sure nobody's trying to poison. You say, what kind of person does that? A person who has been transgender because there's something that goes along with that with their mind where they're easily able to be uh, influenced or they have to go a person can program them or a person can kind of make them like their puppet. That's how come they all have handlers because, it, well, all entertainers have handlers because they program them. But they have handlers because they, they actually, their mind changes so that they, whatever you program them to do, they'll be the best at it. You say, well, what celebrities is transgender? We ain't got no transgender celebrities. Yes, we do. Beyonce, she's a transgen- transgender. Uh, um, Angela Bassett, Marilyn Monroe. Uh, May and it's not just well, men turning to women. Uh, what's that? The boxer Mayfield. May what's his name? Is that his name Mayfield? He, it's a lot of them. The guy from um, he on he's on um, Power now. Oh, it's not Power. Yeah, is that the name of Tommy Show Power? The Force. The Force. The guy who plays Diamond. I guess a lot of them that's transgender. Uh, Angela Bassett. Um, Joan Rivers was killed for telling us that Michelle Obama was a transgender. But we had already figured it out. People don't want to believe it. Say, oh, no, she's not. These, um, let me tell you, the people do it because it's, 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 it's a lot of money in that. 90% of the gym, gymnasts and the tennis players that's in top in the women's field they're transgender and the reason they're trans, the parents say well why would somebody you know I, these people we seen them when they was kids I got pictures of them when they was kids but well, they transgender them at birth they don't wait till they 16 to decide to transgender because you got a whole slew of people that knew them as as John so they're not going to wait till they 16 and now they're going to transgender them they transgender them early when they first born let me tell you there's 6,500 different skeletal structures between a male and a female. And no matter how many, how much surgery, how much um, pills and, and, and shots you get, it's never going to alter your skeleton structure. Your skeletal structure will be the same. That's how come if somebody's dead and they find a dead body out somewhere, they can find out who that person is. They can find out if it's a male or a female. Even if they uh, decapitated and they, they just or just got the skeleton. That's, if all they find is the skeletal bones. Forensics can find out whether or not this was a male or a female. And they can't tell whether you live your life as a male or a female, but they can tell whether your bones are from a male or a female. And because of the skeletal structure, there are certain things that no amount of surgery could change. Like the um, there's an entertainer named Sierra. She's a transgender. She has a song, and she's telling everybody straight up in the song. She's got a song called The Hips Don't Lie. Because, see, what Satan does is he, he, um, he always tells the truth. He just tell it in a way that it's he, he legalistic. So he has to tell the truth. So when he tells the tr- truth, he put it in a way that it don't sound like he's telling the truth. So most people don't listen to it or don't believe it. But she has a song called The Hips Don't Lie. And that's how you basically can tell the transgender because the hips don't lie. The widest part of a female hip is below her crotch. And the reason is because she's designed to have babies. She's designed so that the head can fit through the vaginal area in the baby is born. So the widest part of her hips is below the crotch. Now, when you see people like Beyonce or Angela Bassett, you can see that their hips are above their crotch. And it's because the male's hips is above the crotch so that his, again, for, for reproduction purposes, so his testosterone can get a certain, keep a certain level of heat, heat. And so that they can, um, you know, that they don't 
so he can have babies. That's what it's for. So every everything is for a reason. And you got you you can see people like here's a person like uh Chris Jenner. She has a boyfriend named Corey. I don't know what his last name is, but he's a transgender. Look at his hips. His hip he had female hips because he was born a female. Oh, hold on. Yeah. You can look at that guy from um that I told you the one from the force. Look at his hips. He has his hips is below his crotch. He has female hips because he was born a female. Man can't have female hips just naturally. And a woman can't have a male hip just naturally. Only way that a person who looks like a female has uh, hips above the crotch is if she was born a male and she's just living her life as a female. Now, they may say, um, they may, they, they, people say, oh, you can't say Beyonce is a, a boy. I seen her when she was pregnant. Well, you didn't see, you was not in the room when she had a baby. Anybody could go online right now. I could go look like I'm pregnant. I go buy a moon bump. That's what they call it. Go look it up. And you can see her in one of her interviews with this moon bump on because when she go to sit down, the moon bump <laughs> caves in. When you was pregnant, your stomach don't cave in like that. She was wearing a moon bump. They all do. Sierra did the same thing. Usually when they put flaunt in the pregnancy in front of your face, it's because that's a transgender. They don't normally flaunt regular celebrities' pregnancies in your face. 90% of the celebrities is doing um, in vitro or they, they get um, surrogate mothers. That's what they use the Kardashians for to make surrogacy seem normal. And I'm, I'm not saying that the Kardashians are transgenders. They're, they're not. Um, the Kardashians are not. Um, but it's a lot of people out there. There's nothing. Let me tell you, everything that you see on television, everything that they tell you, 99.9% .9 of it is a lie. It's false and it's a narrative. And they create these stories that tell you, like, they, they made a movie about Serena and her sister because this is narrative they want you to, to know, want you to believe. They always create these stories. They're not true. They're not based on any kind of reality. just a story that they wrote, and they based it on just that. It's a story. They make these stories, they make a movie, and people will swear by it. Oh, this is what happened. She was this, that, that, that. Foolishness. Complete another foolishness. They don't know these people from the can of paint. They just know they see them on TV. They they um believe anything TV tell them. So therefore it must be the truth. Absolutely crazy. People I know people will comment in this and they make comments here talk about oh these people is not you absolutely wrong, Papa. Don't know these people from the can of paint. That they would swear on their mama that Angela Bassett is a woman and was born a woman. They swear on their mama that Michelle Obama was born a woman. They swear on their mama Sandra Bullock was born a woman. They swear on their mama. And don't know these people from a candidate. That's how programmed you are. You got to start thinking for yourself. You want to find out if a man or if is a man was born a man or a man was born a female, even for your own self. Because nowadays they're making it normal for a person to be a transgender. I was watching a, a, a new movie out called the, um, a TV show out called the, uh, what is it called? The, the the Family Business or something that's on Netflix. And they got the brother Rico who's playing a gay person. He's actually a transgender. So it looks like he's gay, but really he's a girl. He was born a girl, so of course he's going to naturally like men. Same thing with um Magic Johnson's son. He is a transgender. He was born a female, so he likes men, so it looked like he's gay. But he's really not gay. He's a transgender. It's confusing world. The world is crazy mixed up. But you need to understand. You have to find out what... Just All you got to do is look at the hips. Trace where the widest part of a person's hips are. The widest part of a person's hip is below their crotch, equal to or below their crotch, then she's a female. If the widest part of the hip is above the crotch, she's a transgender. Or he is a transgender. That's how you can tell. The hips don't lie. Have a blessed day.